Well, hello and welcome back. Last we're here, we pretty much got HGPE pellet production up and running. And in between, I did, well, fix it up because there was an issue where items weren't being directed where we they were. So what I want to do today is first off, well, I kind of want to... Well, we can, because we also made the transmutation last table last tab, table last time. So, what we want to do today is increase the speed that neutrons are being collected because they're, it's slow, even with just one watch of flowing time being activated. But, if I plunk this down here, we grab these up, we can say, hey, learn this watch of flowing time and learn this dark matter pedestal. Throw them in there and it learns how to make that. And so if we place these back down here and then go somewhere where we have a, a massive amount of EMC just being stored here, which in this case is going to be this one here because there is like so much just being stored here. Grab a few stacks of these can come back over here and dump this all in here. We've got such an insane amount of EMC here. So can grab all some dark matter pedestals and let's just go for this many just surrounding it. Cool. That's an extra few. Won't worry about that. So that is uh, 5, 10, 15, 21. So 21 more watch of flowing times here. So just go through and do that. Each one's going to increase the speed because, yeah, look at that now. I'm taking a few seconds to craft one instead of, well, however long it was taking before. I'm not sure what hard limit of which, when this stops affecting them, but hey, this works out here. Cause look at that. It's making so much in just a short period of time here. And we still need six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, at seven. Oh. But that's cool. Next up, I also want to, well, do a couple things here. I want to be able to finish off a few quests here. And one I'm looking at doing is finishing off the mystical, agricult mystical agricultural quest lines here. Now this shouldn't be too hard because all we're going to need is one of each of the ingots. So, yeah. Um, was that four? No, that's actually very easy. We just need to get a... One of these base essence ingots. Check, which we've already gotten that one done. Then we upgrade this to an inferium ingot. So we're going to need two of you, two of you, which we're missing the master, one of that. That's done. Oop. Make sure we get the appropriate levels here. Oh, I've missed that one. Yeah, so that's fun. It's one done. Go on. The second one done here. Okay, two of you, which that takes a bit. It does quite, quite, quite a lot of inferior essence here to make a single one, but that is fine. Oop. Dentium, I think. There we go. Let's check here. Did the Inferium ingot get done? Yes. 
And so we then use this to craft up Prudentium ingot. Might as well grab all the essences here. So that's done. We throw you in with the intermedium. Get the intermedium ingot. Superium. Come on. Yep. Supremium. And finally, the insanium ingot. That's all that done. We still need to get the T6 crafting seeds as well. So that's not going too bad. I'm not sure what I'm going to use the insane ingots for. Don't really have much use for them. Okay. Oh, do I have to craft them or just have them? It's a retrieval task. Okay. Simple enough. In that case, we'll go seed. Get for me a T3 crafting seed, please. Grab that. Check. Get me a tier four crafting seed. Shouldn't take too much longer to get that. Done. Now I need a tier five crafting seed. Each one of these is costing so much. Essence here. And all we need now is the tier six crafting seed. I don't have enough inferior essence for all this. Yeah, it's not running anywhere near fast enough. Okay. Well, if that's the case, I need another pedestal, another watch of flowing time. And we'll just come back over to here. Yeah, in this one here. Put the dark matter pedestal here, the watch flowing time on top. Activate it and bam. The essence coming much faster here. Cool. So we've got the T6 crafting seeds, so that's all those done. And now all that's left to do is, well, get our master infusion zone, or one of them. Then work down the furnace line here. So. Furnace, you need an infernium furnace. So the ultimate, so working backwards, we need four blocks of premium essence. So that's 36 of premium essence. 10, 20, 36. Yeah, which we don't have enough yet. Okay. Well, that's going on. Let's check how much. We're up to 12 neutronium ingots. Yeah, the sheer speed at which we're getting at, gathering that's good. Hmm. Now, there's one other thing that I want to try fixing is because my dischantment and generator. Yeah, it's not really working that well. So I might have another way to improve this because I have been thinking about it, looking into this bit more and there is something I can do here. Um, if I can find it. Enchanting with mana. We could use the mana enchanter here. Yeah, fair amount of space, but we could do this. And I think I might have a way to automate it. It'll take a little bit to get it up and running, but I'm pretty sure we could do this. We've got plenty of mana generation, so let's see about this. If we visualize it, we'll plunk this down here. 
Cool. Um, um and we'll see about doing this. So that's very simple. We need six ten flowers. Do they all need the same type? Of any color. Okay. Well. Let's see here. Can we... We've got a lot of tall mystical green flowers. They need to be single t leveled though. That's annoying, but I'm pretty sure we can work with this. So. Um... Floral fertilizer is what I'm after. Which okay, is going to be annoying, but oh, we'll just build this up and. Well, depends. What do we have here? I don't need the redstone on me. Conduits that oh, I definitely don't need the upgrade speed one there. Oh, we've got some that are decent amount, some that are not so much. Hmm. Let's see here. Uh, do we have any of these normal ones at 10? We're just one off from that one. Okay, okay, okay. Um, simple enough, we'll grab that, turn that all into that. Bone meal. Floral fertilizer. I've got plenty of floral green fertilizer. Okay, that should give me enough. Okay, so we should have enough of at least one flower with just this lot of floral fertilizer being placed down. And probably still some extra as well. Okay, get these flowers all in here. So, flower, we have 12 mystical magenta. We'll go for magenta then. Doesn't really matter which ones. So we gotta go you, you, you. That's one, this one. Yeah. I forgot about the lighting. Oh, grass block, place this down here, we'll just grab a plonk a torch right here just to be safe, and get these all placed down here, we still need to make six mana pylons. Mana pylons should be fairly simple. Or oh, that can gold. Let's grab this gold and just grab some more from this insane amount of EMC I've just got lying in here. Yeah, take a stack of that, please. Cool. Dump this in here. Diamonds are. Uh, not looking as bad as I thought. We need six diamonds for this. One for each pylon. Good thing we have so much here. Okay. Mana pylon. Six of them. On top of each flower here. 
except for the ones in the center. Then we need obsidian as well. Do I have to put my shovel in here? Eh, that's what doing. And the fun part is going to be automating this. Which I have an idea about how to go about this, but... It'd be quick for me to just build up and then explain how it's going on, because it's going to take a, quite a bit to get up and running. But let's just finish this off first. So, obsidian. Check. Run here, here, here. Make sure I don't misplace it. There we go. And finally, the lapis. A singular, singular lapis block on top. Makes that complete. And then if I was to grab my wand of the forest here. Bang! We've got the mana enchanter. So, before we get this set up for automation, let's get everything else set up here. So. It is to make the furnaces from mystical agriculture here. So we need 9, 10, 11, 12 of each one. Essence, we've already got all those. 10, 11, 12 of you. 12 of you. 12 of that one. Okay. Four of those works out nicely. Turn you into that. Into that one here. To that there. I think that's everything. So if we go and make ourselves an inferior furnace, which I forgot to make the block of inferior essence. So there's the inferior furnace. Check. Then you get to the prudentium furnace. Check. Up to the intermediate furnace. Check, which then goes upgrade to the superior furnace, not to be confused with the premium furnace, which is coming up next. There we go. And now we need the ultimate furnace, which I don't think we have the... I oh, know we do. Cool. The ultimate furnace, which we've already got one of, but hey, two wouldn't hurt. And there we go. That's mystical agriculture done. So, what I think I'll do now is actually go through and set up the automation for this here. And I'll be come back and explain what's going on with that because it's a bit hands-on we look a bit complicated but we are back once we've done that so this should work out to automate automatically craft some weapons or enchanting some certain thing to allow about the enchantment generator to oh, i don't know go about half an hour on just one item here so that should work out, but the only thing is, it takes like one, one and a half mana pools worth of mana to craft. Because we've got like seven different enchantments we're putting on there, so it's fun. But, we'll go over what it is, because it's fairly simple, but also a bit as well. So we've got the auto plate, this placer here, it will put the stone swords, which are dead cheap, like six EMC, which I threw like a whole stack of energy condensers in there for fire the EMC. It'll throw that onto the mana enchanter. And then, after that, it will automatically drop all seven of these books to be enchanted. And then this auto placer here will activate the mana enchanter with the wand of the forest that's in there. And once, and while that's going on, we've got a minecart underneath here to pick up the... Enchanted books that I dropped over here. So I'll go 
pass twice, drop them off the top, which will then recycle them back up into the precision dropper because the enchanted books don't get used up by the mana enchanter. After that is done, well, after it's finished enchanting up, this mechanical user will withdraw the item after like two minutes, and then that gets export out of the system. And that is all being dictated by this computer I made. And also we've got this detector here determining if we've got less than two of these swords in here. So we always have at least two, which is like an hour's worth of, like three, yeah, an hour's worth of time to do. So take a look at the, this is a program I've currently got, which is literally just a bunch of pulsing and turning signals on certain sides because, yeah. But it should work. So we've saved that. We can make sure it's saved. We can exit out and then we can run and chat. Oop. I must have missed something here. Line eight. What did I miss there? Was it if then? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is this it? Yeah, there we go. So, place it in. All seven of these enchanted books are being dropped down here. Once this last one's being dropped, we should see. Yep. It's activated. Both beeps are checking all the books. Turns that on. And the... We can see the books being picked up and being deposited back into here. And a serious drain of mana is going on here, so that's good. And it does take a little bit, but... There we go. That's done, and yeah. It take a little bit, but once that gets pulled out, it will... This detector should turn off. That's what I'm hoping here. I gave it plenty of time to make sure that it has enough time to actually craft it out or enchant up for being pulled out. But this should be pulled out soon. There we go. Got pulled out. Ah, oh, that's what I thought. This is a bit too nebulous there. Yeah, no. Okay, we need a better way of doing that. Okay, so we'll terminate that because that's not going to work. So instead of that, we will have to be based for redstone, but I'll fix that in the meantime. For now, let's go and show what this is actually capable of. Wait, didn't I pull in? That should have imported in this one here. Hmm. Yeah. Why isn't that get imported in? Type items, redstone, ignore. Um, just going to check. Oh, it's not actually connected up. That's why it's not working.
Okay. So that should have connected up now. Let's check. Was it pulled out from here? There we go. And still what I thought was going to be the case. The order makes it a bit different. It's not fuzzy enough. Use damage, no. It's less than two. Yeah. Oh well. It's fine. But no, that will work. So let's go check how much this stores. Well, it can generate here. So we no longer need that. So we can probably move this disenchantment generator somewhere else. We'll. I say we put this here for now. And it's got zero. So let's throw the stone sword in it, and we can see. 36 minutes this one sword will generate and power for. 36. That is great. So do a couple of things today. We well we've improved our neutron generation because we're already up to like over a stack of neutronium ingots, which is good. And I'll fix I'll also fix up my HTPE pellet generator and got the enchantment generator or dischantment generator actually a bit more automated at the cost of mana but it's fine I probably also need to make another cake Maris and improve our mana capabilities but hey this is fine for now so I think I'll just call it here so that I'm gonna say thank you all for watching if you like to see then you can always comment like subscribe down below and if you want to could also come join me over on my discord or my twitch I stream every day over on twitch.tv slash expert 12 every Monday through Friday and that thank you all again for watching have a wonderful day in the 12 sign out see ya